Hey what's up guys my name is Wasi and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create really amazing particle logo animation so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a free website for online video creators. You will find here tons of free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, video templates and lots more. All assets are 100% copyright free and no attributes and sign up required to use or download Mixkit asset. Click the link in the description box to visit Mixkit and download your free asset today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. Let's call it logo animation. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 24 and duration 7 seconds long then click on ok. Now import our project files, you can download these project files from link in the description box. Now select our logo, then place it into this timeline. Now make this layer smaller little bit and place it here. Now right click, to pre compose, select move all attributes and rename it to logo. Then click on OK. Now create a new solid layer, so right click new then click on solid and rename it to noise then click on ok. Now go to effect and preset window and search for fractal noise. Now select this effect apply onto this uh, noise layer. Now contrast set it 2000, brightness uh, set it a minus 700 and then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on brightness and then go to around 4 second um, 4 second 5 frames and brightness set it 680 okay now select this logo layer then track mat set it noise and click here switch to luma mat okay now select this two layer then right click then choose pre-compose select mobile attributes and rename it to main then click on ok now again create a solid layer rename it to texture add fractal noise on it and um contrast set it 500 and then go to transform and scale value set it 14 then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on brightness and set it value to 24 then go to around 5 seconds and brightness value set it to minus 250 Okay, now right click, choose pre-compose and select mobile attributes, rename it to texture, then click on OK. Now turn off visibility of this layer. Now go to effect and preset window, search for um, set channel. Then select this effect and apply onto this main layer. Source layer 1 set it texture and then green to source set it lightness okay now add cc ball action then set it twist property set it red twist angle set it minus 180 grid spacing set it 0 ball size set it 220 select this layer then right click then go to transform and click on flip vertical 
now move it on center okay now add tint you can choose any color you want now add glow glow threshold set it 90 radius set it 33 okay go to project window and create a new composition uh, let's call it reflection then click on ok now go to project window and select this logo comp and place it into this timeline and move it on center then right click choose pre-compose select mobile attributes and rename it to logo center then click on ok now select our reflection map layer then place it into this timeline then change the layer track map to logo center then add CC uh, glass go to surface bump map set it logo center softness set it 50 height set it 100 displacement set it minus 160 then add CC blobby lies then go to blobbiness and blob layer set it logo center and softness set it uh, 8 cut away set it 15 okay now go to project window and select our logo center comp then place it into this timeline now select this reflection map layer then change the layer mode to screen perfect now go to logo animation then select our reflection comp and place it into this timeline now select these two layer and make them 3d by clicking here now align it perfect now go to around 3 second 12 frames then select this reflection comp and drag it here then press t then set a keyframe on opacity set it zero then go forward few frames and opacity value set it 100 now select this main layer then press t and set a keyframe on opacity and go forward few frames and opacity value set it zero perfect now create a null object now select this two layer and parent it to null one make this null object 3d by clicking here now press p then uh, set a keyframe on position then go to beginning of this animation and z value set it minus one five double zero now select this two keyframe then press f9 and open graph editor and simply change the graph curve to something like that looks good to me okay now add um, light leaks Okay, let's trim the layer by holding Ctrl Shift and D. Now select this layer and change the layer mode to screen. Okay, now add a text. So right click new, then click on text. 
टाइप योर टेक्स्ट है मेक इट स्मॉलर नाउ प्रेस पी होल्ड डाउन शिफ्ट देन प्रेस टी नाउ सिलेक्ट की फ्रेम ऑन ऑपोसिटी एंड पोजिशन नाउ गो बैकवर्ड फ्यू फ्रेम्स देन ऑपोसिटी वैल्यू सेट इट जीरो एंड चेंज द पोजिशन समथिंग अराउंड हेयर नाउ सिलेक्ट दिस की फ्रेम्स एंड प्रेस एफ नाइन देन ओपन ग्राफ एडिटर एंड सिंपली चेंज द ग्राफ ग्राफ टू समथिंग लाइक दैट Looks good to me. Okay, let's uh, create a adjustment layer. Let's add sharpen. Set the value to ten, and then add CC force motion blur, and that's it. Our animation is complete. Press zero to ramp view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Till then, peace out.